y'all can see it, but the wind's kicking tonight. I am in uh, Yuma, Arizona. It is rocking and rolling. to get a permit get out of the truck this other like a 35 I think it, no it was a f-350 pulling a uh, a trailer with two cars on it they roll down the window and they're like hey sir hey I walk over and he's like what exactly are we supposed to do here I'm like well do you have a New Mexico account and they're like no like okay are you cdl or non-cdl they said non-cdl like, okay take your registration in get a trip permit they're like oh okay okay that's it I'm like yeah you just got to pay for a trip permit like, okay so i turn around start walking off turn back around <laughs> those suckers are peeling out they were like nope not today which I don't understand why. I think it caught. That's a that's a hefty fine in New Mexico, getting caught without that, you know, the permit or having an account with New Mexico. But uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Good luck, boys. Don't get caught. It would have cost you. Well, it cost me twenty six dollars to go from Arizona to Texas. I think the fines it's either seven fifty or twelve hundred. I can't remember. It's one of the two, I believe. If you're caught without the permit, maybe one of y'all know. Y'all can comment and, uh, down below. But anyway, later. So I'm going down the road. I don't know if that light's too bright or not, but anyway, I'm going down the road, going down the interstate. And I start hearing the popping sound. Same sound I heard when the front driver's side wheel bearing went out. Except this time, it's on the passenger side. And I was like, yeah, I know that sound. That's mother freaking wheel bearing on the passenger side. Luckily, I have the wheel bearing or the unitized hub in the cab, right? I have it under the sleeper. I was like, okay, well, obviously I'm gonna have to find a uh, truck stop, like a TA or something, to see if they can at least jack it up, take the wheel off, and, you know, if they have a, a nut that'll fit that, uh, the axle nut, the spindle nut, so I pull over, I gotta use the restroom anyway. I pull over, I'm gonna get out, check it, you know, see if it might be something else. And... <laughs> it's the, the booster antenna. I'm happy. Man, I'm happy. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? I just changed the driver's side wheel bearing. And now the passenger side's gonna go out. But 
anyway uh yeah i'm happy now so man it has been windy as heck the whole time from california coming over the mountain range uh on the eight i don't know what that pass is called it's not a very big pass but i mean it's still a small mountain uh yeah as soon as you come down to the bottom from there all the way over i'm talking about crazy winds but uh yeah i'm gonna get that antenna fixed real quick some uh duct tape and bailing wire it fixes everything so we'll get that uh fixed real quick and then be back on the road i got uh another hour or so before i have to stop okay oh thank god <laughs> I was thinking to myself the whole time, I was like, man, I wish I would have bought the uh, the socket that fits that axle nut, right? I guess now I will, but I have one that'll fit the trailer, but it, the, the truck's a different size. Anyway, so that, that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get that fixed and then uh, we'll be back on the road. <laughs> Woo, man. I'm just happy it wasn't the axle, or that, that unitized hub, but anyway. What's going on? So, as you can see, they're back there, but obviously pulling up inside, I'm not gonna be able to film, so. That's the last you're gonna see of them. They're fishing to be off the trailer. And we got to roll up to El Dorado, Arkansas. Pick up a something going down the ceiling. Uh, it's a container, but it's for the mileage. It's paying fairly well. And it puts me over my daily goal, so I'm good. And then I can shoot from Sealy to the house tomorrow. We'll be golden. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to be able to film inside. So, uh, yeah, y'all aren't going to be able to see the unload. And I'm probably gonna get soaking Say wet. A no, Jippus, no. Because a storm is fixing to roll in. A good storm with a heavy downpour. So I'm gonna get in here and try to get unloaded before that happens. Or at least get all the chains and everything off and put up. That way they can unload me while I sit in the truck. So we'll holler at y'all later. This might conclude this video. If not, I might add that other one in. I don't know. We'll see. Holler at y'all later. Be safe. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for liking. You know, appreciate all the uh, the subscribers. I actually got an email today for a collaboration. Thought was funny. I ain't even bought nothing from them. But I guess they thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty. No. I ain't doing none of that crap unless I like use it, but even then I don't feel right doing that. I'm just here to vlog. Unless someone wants to get me a trailer. I will take a 53 step spread axle with a lift axle. Yeah, I'll do that, but <laughs> no. We'll holler at y'all later. Y'all have a good one. So, we made the delivery. The first if you haven't been to the Red River Army Depot, you're missing out. Wow, do they have a lot of stuff. I mean, like a crap load of stuff. I, I, would, I would have to guarantee you there's over a billion dollars worth of, uh, well over a billion dollars worth of inventory in there. And I only seen about one, I would say one thirty second of the uh, the depot. When you pull in, you go around the guard shack, then you go down. I think it's the Armory Road or whatever road it is. It's just streets and streets and streets of uh, Humvees and the ambulance Humvees and just. I mean, just Humvees after Humvees after Humvees, tanks after tanks after tanks. And then you get, I, 
I got back to the little place I was uh, delivering to, and they have everything, like MRAPs, up armored, down armored MRAPs, Humvees, M1 Abrams, the medium sized tanks, little bitty bitty tanks, bulldozers, disregard the shit. I'm telling you, Meritor sucks. Uh, bulldozers, the heavy duty uh, wreckers, the tanks, the, like the uh, the wrecker type tank, I don't remember what it's called. Basically a huge, I mean a huge freaking tank with the big boom on the back to, uh, I guess, pull out other tanks and stuff. Uh, the little tracked vehicles for like troop car uh, carrying vehicles. Uh, missile launchers, like the, the vehicle mounted missile launcher missile launchers the uh, little trucks like the little bitty trucks with the uh, machine gun mounted on the back obviously no machine gun but and then don't you throw up rocks and then of course bunker after bunker after bunker like huge bunkers uh, I can only speculate to what's in there but It's an amazing place. It's crazy. Crazy. And I'm sure this is just like one small little, I mean, just tiny, tiny little fraction of what America, you know, actually has, obviously. You know, crazy. You know, all the bases, you know, they have a bunch of crap there. And it's, it's nuts how much stuff they have in there. Just just in the little portion that I went to. There's all kind of other places that I could see on the map, but you know, you can't get to obviously because you have to stay on the, the route, the planned route to get back to where you deliver. But, yeah, it's uh, shocking. I'm not really shocking. I mean, you know America has quite a bit of stuff, but crazy just to see this the small fraction of, of what is there you know and a, a lot of that stuff is old wore out pieces of junk kind of like I, I took out here from uh so basically these Humvees come from Hawaii shipped to uh National City which is just south of San Diego and then sent over here now, I don't know what they're going to do with them here here. They may use them for parts. They may uh, sell them to like uh, or auction them off. You see a lot of you know, stuff like that on Ritchie Brothers. The Humvees and uh, the uh, the little I forgot what kind of trucks they were. But anyway, yeah. It's crazy the amount of stuff they got in there. Anyway, I'm uh, gonna head over to El Dorado, Arkansas, picking up a container, a 20 foot container, going to Houston. Uh, like 300, and, I forgot what the mileage on it. It's like 69 miles deadhead, 384 miles from El Dorado to Houston, or Sealy, Texas. I'll be headed home. So that one, uh, we got them up to 1,500 on it. So it's not a not a bad little one day hop down to yeah, Houston for 1,500 bucks. Right. And then from there, I'll shoot over to the house. And I'll be calling it quits for a couple of days. Well, till either Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll head back out. But anyway, we'll holler at y'all later. Y'all have a good one.